Hi folks, uh, in this tutorial I just want to take you through um, the reason why in many of your subjects for the final SBO mark for the year it doesn't tally up um, by simply adding up the marks that you see in front of you. Um, <clears throat> for the split subject um, tutorials that I've showed you before this, um, it, it, this it, it doesn't affect that, those ones you can add up and just get to the final, uh, 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 you can just add up the SBAs in order to arrive at the final SBA mark. And the reason for that is that in those subjects, the weighting represents the contribution of the mark as a proportion of the overall SBA mark. In other words, the weighting represents the contributed weighting. Okay, the amount that that particular mark contributes to the over, overall mark is directly uh, represented in the weighting. For the languages, this tends to be the case as well. Uh, well, I say it is the case. I haven't spotted a, a language uh, in any of the phases or, or grades so far where it isn't the case. Um, I haven't gone through them all 100% thoroughly, but it's, it, it doesn't really matter if, if you, in any event, if you follow the, the following procedure, whether the weighting is contributed or not, you will get to the final answer. And, and, and it is why I've said in many of my tutorials before why I followed that procedure instead of in, in some of them like in the split tutorials I, I did say okay well look in this case you can just add them up and arrive at the total mark but in many cases I have a, a, a set way of of following any um, formula derivation in SA SAMS because I know that if I follow that pattern regardless of, of what their um, the differences in, in terms of these, whether the mark is a con the weighting represents a contributed weighting or not, I'll always I'll always arrive at the final answer, and I'll show you what I mean now. Okay, so if we look at this particular mark, um, you'll see here that your 30 plus 22 plus 29 plus 27 plus 96 plus 43 plus 40 doesn't equal 299. Right, 30 plus 22 is 52, uh, plus 29 is 81 plus 27 is 108, plus 96 is 204, plus 43 is 247, plus 40 is 287, okay, and that's 12, 12 away from the actual final score of 299. Similarly, if we look at the second record, at 16 plus 13 is 29, plus 17 is 46, plus 21 is 67, plus 52 is 119, Plus 31 is 140, 150, 100, 150 plus 24 is 174, again, off the final mark that we get there. Now, you might ask, well, why is that happening? Well, the simple fact of the matter is, without even adding them up or, or going through the formula, if you just look at it plainly, look at this mark, which is, which is out of 50. Okay, as a total out of 410, it's being weighted 10% of the final mark, whereas this mark out of 30, which is less marks, is being weighted 15% of the final outcome. In other words, what that, that's saying is that each mark out of this 30 represents more than what each of the marks are out of this 50. Okay, so there's a simple way of, of, of doing it, as I say, and, and this is basically follows what I've always said before it's the mark divided by the total multiplied by the weighting okay so what will happen is we'll end up at a percentage we'll end up at a mark out of a hundred because if we if we're reducing each mark to its component of the weighting it's 10 we'll a mark out of 10 a mark out of 15 a mark out of 10 so it's 25 35 50 75 85 100 so in other words you're gonna these will always add up to 100 you're gonna arrive at a mark out of 100 right which is a percentage and then you're gonna convert that percentage to a mark out of 410 and you'll see that we will arrive at these marks so without further ado let's take the first record here where we've got 30 uh, pl um, sorry, let's not do that. Sorry. So let's go. Uh, so we go 30 divided by 50 multiplied by 10. Okay. Gives you 6. Stick that in the memory. 22 divided by 30 multiplied by the weighting of 15. Okay. Don't round any of these things off, obviously, because when you're putting it into its component out of its weighted component, it needs to be in its raw form. Otherwise, you'll have a huge amount of decimal degradation. 
excuse my phone there, 29 divided by 50 um, multiplied by 10 equals that, memory plus 27 divided by 30 multiplied by 15 equals that, memory plus 96 divided by 150 multiplied by 25 equals that, memory plus 43 divided by 50 um, multiplied by 10 equals that, memory plus 40 divided by 50 multiplied by 15 equals that, memory plus so that's your final percentage, 72.9 so if you then want to convert that to a score out of 410, you simply divide that by 100 to get its mark out of 1, and then multiply it by 410. And its proportion of 410 is 298.89, which you then round off to 299. Okay, I'm going to run through the second record as the, uh, uh, the second record so that we can follow, see that that continues to follow. But so uh, 16. Divided by 50, multiplied by 10, all right, Pl uh, so let's, 3.2, sorry, uh, equals 3.2, memory plus that, uh, 13, divided by 30, multiplied by 15, equals that, memory plus it, 17, divided by 50, Multiply by 10, equals that, memory plus it. 21, divided by 30, multiply by 15, equals that, memory plus it. And uh, 52, divided by 150, uh, multiply by 15, Ah, sorry, multiply by 25 equals that, memory plus it. Uh, did I get that right? I think I lost my way. Let's just see. 31 divided by 50 multiplied by 10 equals that, memory plus it. 24 divided by 50 multiplied by 15 equals that, memory plus it. So the total percentage is 46.5. To convert it to a mark out of 410 is simply divide by 100 equals that, multiplied by 410. Gives you 187.2, rounded off as 187. Now of course you can <clears throat> run a full scale evaluation in Excel, the, much the same way as I showed you how to calculate split subjects. Okay, so if you simply hit the export to Excel button and then pop the file somewhere. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for now and we're gonna I'm just gonna just call it SBA check check for now. Okay. Right, so, um, again, if we would just want to put what we were doing earlier into a formula, um, we've got seven components here, so let's just, let's just put uh, seven, three, four, five, six, seven components, and we know that ultimately we're going to divide all of those by 100 and multiply them by I mean we can we can write we can hard code the 410 it's fine okay or you could just say multiplied by R5 and then hold the row constant so that when we copy and paste the formula down we it stays referencing that cell so okay so um, we do the first one 
divided by that, multiplied by that. Oh, sorry, jumped too far. Okay, multiplied by that, and then kind of want to hold these. And then the second one, divided by that, multiplied by that. We'll go through and put the constants in afterwards, okay? And then that, divided by that, multiplied by that. Test score, divided by the test total, multiplied by the weighting. Fifth one divided by total multiplied by the weighting. And the sixth one that divided by total weighting. And then that divided by the total multiplied by the weighting. Let's put our constant rows in so that when we copy and paste the formula down that the reference to the totals and the weighting don't move down with it right and that gives you a 289.9. Now, we, what we can do is also round this entire thing off. So we can go around that on the end, say, comma, naught decimal places. In other words, if you look at the IntelliSense, it's actually telling you where you are. Round, done the number that we're on. The, when I close the brackets now, that um, bold will disappear from that. Well, the whole thing will disappear, telling you that you've got it in the right format. 299. Okay, so then copy that cell and paste it down. I'm just going to paste it down a few. And as you can see, 187, 290, 239, 201, So it matches, matches perfectly. That is how they are calculating their final SBA mark. And that is why sometimes you cannot just add them together and arrive at the final total. You'll know when you can add them together and arrive at the final total when the um, mark out of the total is represented by this weighting in the box. In other words, what you would do quite simply is you would say, okay, 50 divided by 410 represents 12.1 percent, right? Let's just multiply it by 100 to get it into a percent. Equals 12.2 percent, let's say. So that should say 12.2 percent. If that said 12.2 percent, and 30 divided by 410 equals that multiplied by 100, and that said 7.3 percent, and so on. That said 12.2 percent, and that said 7.3 percent, and so on. Then you would know that these mark, the weightings over here represented the exact mark contribution of these, and then you'd be able to just simply sum them up, um, and uh, and you sh that that should be the total that you arrive at. But as I say, in this case, the weightings don't represent the contribution of the marks, and so therefore you have to weight each component first, arrive at your percentage, and then convert that mark back into a mark out of 410. It's a little bit. Backwards, but we don't make the rules, so that is how they arrive at their marks. So don't be alarmed, folks. If your marks aren't adding up to the total there, it's still correct. Um, and you know, for pulling the final promotion marks into front office, you're pulling you're pulling this final mark in. So it doesn't really matter what Sam's does. You're just making sure that yours reflects what Sam's does. And for the split components as well, as I said, this doesn't affect those because. In those split components, the weightings do represent uh, the mark contributions, so we were just able to add them together. And I did point out the sort of more specific way of working out the formula in those tutorials anyway. Um, so those will still work out. So none of this actually affects anything that you do. You're all on track. Good luck. Keep going, folks. And um, that sums that up for this, for this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.